Hi friends, thank you so much for being a part of this journey with me and listening to the podcast over the year and a half that it's been around. It's been such a privilege to have these deep conversations with people and to share these intimate and nuanced stories with you. I've personally found that my definitions and conceptions of what home identity and belonging are have really broadened and been enriched by these conversations that I've had and I just hope that that has been the same for you and I hope that it has made more meaningful connections for you in your own personal explorations of how you find home belonging and a grounded sense of identity. So I want to say thank you so much for being a part of this journey with me for listening to the podcast, for sharing your deeply thoughtful feedback. And it's been such um, a privilege to be sharing these stories with you. And a lot of your feedback has been so moving for me and has actually brought me to tears on many occasions. So thank you so much for the good tears. Please, please keep giving me your feedback, sharing what resonated with you. I'd be really grateful. Please can you rate the podcast and share a comment or a review on Apple Podcasts or on Spotify. That would be amazing and would really, really help us as we grow and and move forward into the future of the podcast. And the podcast has always been about making sense of the world together. So I see this very much as a conversation on both sides. So I want to listen to my listeners as well. Please, please send in your feedback and your thoughts to me. I'd be really appreciative of that. So Zeno has always been about gathering stories that explore our shared humanity and how we all search for belonging in our own corners of the world. And I'm so amazed and excited to be sharing really impactful speakers over this next year. So for this iteration of the podcast, I'll be focusing on conversations about belonging and connection to nature and how important feeling a connection to the more than human world is important in crafting a grounded and regenerative and nourishing sense of belonging in the world. So I have already had episodes come out about this subject about nature connection and belonging but I just want to make it clear for those who have been listening and and not sure of what direction I'm taking I this year is about focusing on nature connection and belonging and how these two aspects feed into each other and I'm really excited to share that over the next year I'll be releasing episodes with activists with campaigners adventurers, community leaders, nature writers, people who are deeply engaging with the more than human world and reflecting on how it facilitates a a deeper sense of belonging. So that's where I'll be taking you over this next year. I'm really excited that the next episode coming up is my conversation with Noreen Masood, who's a, a nature writer, an author, an academic and broadcaster and Noreen published a book called A Flat Place which is a book that had a huge impact on me personally and I resonated a lot with the themes that were emerging from that book but I have so many wonderful people that I'm interviewing this year that I'm excited to share with you and in line with that I want to share with you my latest venture which is my outdoors venture called Roots of Belonging. And I want to share this with you as um, people who've been alongside me in the in the making of the podcast. And I see Roots of Belonging as very much in the same universe as Zeno. So while Zeno is focusing on broad conversations about home identity and belonging, at Roots of Belonging, we host interdisciplinary outdoor workshops for mixed bicultural and multicultural people of colour to connect with nature and cultivate their sense of belonging. We believe that being an embodied kinship with the more than human world is the direct path to being at home and feeling like we belong. We're building a diverse, inclusive and equitable community that deeply understands that we belong to nature. Why all this focus on belonging? We know that belonging is an existential issue that uniquely touches all of us. Our sense of home and belonging, and especially for people of colour, is threatened on a global scale. 
In our world built for othering, we believe that home building must be a collective, imaginative act that's rooted in nature. Much research shows that mixed and multicultural pe people of colour are more likely to face negative mental health outcomes and feel like they don't belong where they live. They are more likely to rely on urban areas to find their communities and social connection, even though living in urban areas exacerbates mental health outcomes. Being in nature has shown clear mental health benefits and we therefore see the outdoors as the third place, the place where we can replant ourselves in the universe together in community. The natural world contains powerful narratives and metaphors that help us rewrite our story of belonging and unbelonging in transformative ways. So we'll be hosting a range of retreats, workshops and community events all in person. Our inaugural Belonging in Nature retreat is going to take place this year in Dartmoor National Park on rewilded land in late June. So that's June 28th to the 30th of June. And people who attend our Roots of Belonging retreats and workshops can expect a deep dive into how to cultivate regenerative belonging, a safe and supportive space in which to rewrite their story of home and community with others, and they'll leave with special friendships, people who have shared lived experience, and importantly, they'll be embedded in our diverse, inclusive and vibrant community that is committed to nourishing, belonging to nature and belonging to each other. So I'm so excited to be sharing that venture with you who have been a part of this journey with me. And if that is something of interest to you and if you'd like to be a part of our community in person, you can follow us on Instagram at Roots of Belonging and you can register your interest for upcoming retreats and in-person events in the Google form in the bio and you can also sign up to our newsletter at rootsofbelonging.org where we'll be posting some updates as and when to you that you know when we have events coming up, updates about our community resources, about belonging connection to nature. So if that is of interest to you and if you'd like to be a part of our community, please, please find us there. And finally, I want to mention in practicing this interspecies work in the outdoors with people who are mixed, multicultural and bicultural people of colour, we recognise that people come from all different contexts with their unique lived experiences and cultural lenses that inform their sense of connection with and disconnection from nature. We therefore prioritise the safety and support of our members of the members of our community to be together as the most compassionate, curious and generous selves for the benefit of all species. So if our work resonates with you, please, please follow us on Instagram and subscribe to our newsletter. And we can't wait to meet you. So this is an unusual episode for me, just a, an announcement about the podcast, sharing my gratitude for you being alongside me on this journey. Thank you so much for being a part of this journey with me.